hi everybody welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in and in this video i'm going to show you how i did these extended distressed new locks and this is the hair that i used and all i did was cut off half the hair of the cuban twist hair now my customer has very very long hair and I just want to show you guys that this style can be achieved on customers that do have very long hair. And these are the locks. And I extended it. And right here where I'm tugging and pulling, that's where the locks are bound together. And it's very, very secure. And I'm thinking about doing a video showing you guys how to secure these um, lock extensions when you do connect them without using hair glue i don't recommend hair glue because i just don't like the fact that that's in your hair and you're sleeping and you have to smell that so i didn't use any nail glue at all so if you want to see a video on that just let me know So for me, what I did to save on time, because her hair is so long, to save my time and to save her time, I folded her braid up and then I went and I used the cube into his hair and I began to wrap around like that. But before I did that, make sure you secure the hair with rubber bands and this way, this will cut down on a lot of time. And you wouldn't have to wrap the hair all the way down the lock. Keep in mind, you have to be careful with this method. You can't make the sections too big because if the hair is too thick and you go to fold it, you'll have your locks looking very uneven. So this is my method that I came up with on my own and it worked, but for maybe one lock, I did see that I sectioned out her section too thick and it was too thick. The lock looked uneven. So I had to split that section in half because you want to have even looking locks. So don't um, make your portions and your sections too large. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how I wrap the hair around. Now, if you, if you notice, I didn't put the Cuban twist hair through as a crochet through the base underneath her braid because I already did that with one of the new locks. I find that if you do that twice, that's too much stress on the hair and you don't want the hair to break. So I didn't want to crochet two different pieces of hair through the base of her braid because I don't want her hair to break off. So I only crocheted it through once with the new lock and then I just wrapped the Cuban twist hair around it like that. So yeah, you don't want your clients or customers to have any of their hair breaking. So I recommend you do it this way. And you have to be very patient with this style because it does take time. Uh, I think this took me about six hours to do. 
So yeah, just be very patient with it because if you become impatient with it, you'll be able to see that when you get to the top of the hair. So just take your time and be patient with it. So as you can see, when I got to the bottom of the lock of her hair, I'm sorry, when I got to the bottom of her hair, I began wrapping up so that we can lock that in and the hair won't come out. But then what I'm doing, and you can stop right there, but then what I'm doing, if you don't feel comfortable with just that amount of hair being um, wrapped around as the final, you know, as the final security, just take some more hair and start back at the bottom wrap downward and then wrap it upward just to give it more security again you can leave off at after the first step but if you really want that lock to stay in there just go ahead and do this second step So what I like to do, and again, these are all my own methods that I came up with. Um, I see how a lot of other stylists and people do it here on YouTube, but I have to go with what I feel comfortable with. And so I just take and I just spray. That's the section where I extended the lock. So I take and I spray that because it's already secure, but I want to make sure it's even more secure. And I secure the top part as well and just mold it all together and there it is, you're good to go. So this is the final look guys. And they are very, very long. I apologize, I didn't get a really detailed view, but don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you so much.